Hello. I uh, got my second uh, COVID vaccine in uh, my arm this morning. So if uh, in the middle, or rather it'd be at the end, because if what happens is I suddenly grab my arm and start moaning, and then the video cuts out, that's why. Um, but that probably won't happen. I feel fine. So I'll, uh, I'll get to the uh, Land of the Lost episode, the first one in Dinos We Trust. Um, which is a title I don't remember, but the uh, the episode is one that when I think of Land of the Lost and I haven't seen all the episodes fairly recently, it is one episode that comes up. It's the episode in which uh, Kevin uh, goes blind uh, temporarily and uh, Tasha's with him. But what I remember most about it is he goes to uh, the Valley of Death, I believe is what it's called. Yes, Valley of Death, because... Uh, he sees that Stink has this cool dinosaur jawbone, and uh, he wants to get some more. He wants to get presents for Krista. Now, why he wants to get presents for Krista is because um, he's been what he calls bird watching. And in the beginning of the episode, he's looking at a pterodactyl. Through, you, that's the opening shot, I think, through the binoculars, it's a pterodactyl. And he goes up to up a hill, and he uh, starts spying on other dinosaurs. And then he then he starts spying on Krista who is uh, in that, uh, that nice bathing shoot suit that she has, um, and, it's, uh, and she's going into a pond. I don't know if she's fishing or just swimming, um, but she's there, and he's, he starts looking at her, and I think, that, uh, I think that she notices that he's watching before um, a Triceratops comes up from behind him, and uh, scares him into rolling down the other side of the hill toward her, making a lot of noise. And I don't think it's Princess. I don't think it's Princess defending Krista's honor or anything. I think it's just a, a Triceratops. And, um, and Tasha, by the way, again, Tasha, this is a Tasha Kevin episode. She was supposed to be on guard and warn him of a Triceratops or anything else came, came up after him, and uh, she's, she's not good at this. Um, so he rolls down the hill making noise, and then he, at the bottom of the hill, Krista finds him and confronts him, uh, uh, calls the binoculars far eyes. I always like the, uh, the um, land of the lostisms that these things have, um, and uh, she, uh, she's not happy. She finds, as she says, another, another place to go, I think she says swimming, uh, but she also fishes a lot. Uh, so Krista's angry at him. Uh, he goes back to the treehouse. Stink shows him the jawbone. Then Stink and Tom and Annie go off somewhere else. Tom and Annie are doing something. Oh, they're playing horseshoe, I think, at the beginning, or something along those lines. And they go... Uh, where do they go? I mean, might not have even... Oh, they go to build a raft. And, and the raft is a source of much confusion for me in this episode. Um, so Annie and, and Tom and Stink go to build a raft. Um, and uh, Stink ends up asking, what's a raft? And they say, and this is a kind of a, a cute thing that I remember, and it just, it's not the, the cleverest thing in the world, but I've always thought of it as cute. Annie explains Stink, well, a raft is kind of like a boat, and Stink says, what's a boat? A boat is kind of like a raft, and they go back and forth with that a couple of times, and it's fine, it's cute, but uh, Krista is stranded in the land of the lost, in part, without her family, in part because the family, her family built a raft and tried to sail across the ocean. And a storm blew it over, uh, or, or destroyed it, uh, or at least knocked her off of it, and she floated back to the beach. Um, but, uh, and I, I, I thought that Stink knew that. Now, maybe that has disappeared from her and Stink's memory, uh, because it's been so long, but uh, because she also... They do the a raft is sort of like a boat thing again when she arrives where they're building the raft and she asks about it and it's like the raft is you you were on a raft and you now maybe they wrote and made this episode before they did the life's a beach episode where we learned that uh, or maybe that is never established exactly i forget how much detail is actually in the life's a beach episode um and and how much i read on wikipedia but she and stink at least she should know what a raft is but anyway, back to the Valley of Death. Valley, I, see, I keep wanting to say Valley of the Death. The Valley of Death. Uh, Kevin finds, he finds a nice arrowhead, a large arrowhead. It says he can make Krista a nice spear. 
Uh, and he also finds a saber-toothed tiger skull on the way and thinks, oh, we'll come back for that. So it tells Tasha, because Tasha goes with him, because um, he, I guess he wants to give her another chance to be the lookout. And then uh, Tasha actually does try to warn him against danger, about danger, because Tasha, being an animal, can, I think, sense that there's a dangerous animal nearby. There's a snake hiding in a uh, T-Rex skull, and he wants the T-Rex skull. He doesn't see the snake because it's inside. A uh, snake comes out and spits in his eyes, and that's what temporarily blinds him. So that's the, that's the gist of the episode. Tom, Annie, and Stink are building a raft. Chris is upset, and Kevin and Tasha are in the Valley of Death. And he is reluctant to accept Tasha's help initially, but um, eventually, you know, he finds that he holds her hand, or I think he also hold, spends some time holding her head, and she's guiding him back towards the treehouse, or at least in the direction of uh, where, where he'll be better off. Um, there is, of course, a Scarface uh, thing, and, and, it's, and uh, Tasha, I, I believe, did I write it down? Uh, oh, before that, Tasha is um, caught in a slee stack trap, and Kevin starts feels up, and he feels where her feet are, and he starts cutting the rope, and then the uh, trap comes down uh, from the bit of rope that was tied to the tree uh, branch, which is not what he cut, but, you know, that's that's what they had to do set-wise, I guess. Because um, the whole net doesn't... The way he was cutting, she should have fallen out of the net, but whatever. It, do, it doesn't matter. And there's, there's a, a Scarface close call, and, and uh, since he's blind, and again, it's an animal instinct thing, probably, um, or at least that's how I interpret it, Tasha senses that he's the weaker of the two of them, so she tries to protect him, even though he's bigger. Uh, so, and then, you know, Scarface roars. Everybody can hear when Scarface roars. Um, uh, Tom and uh, Annie, and by then Krista and Stink, uh, they, they arrive to fight off Scarface. Tom throws, I believe it was the mast, um, and uh, at Scarface, and... The raft doesn't come back in the very next episode, I'm just realizing. So, I don't know what they do with the raft, they only take the mast apart. Uh, and it sticks in uh, Scarface's uh, throat, but then Scarface, you know, bites it out. And that is something, another, another image that I remember from childhood, the, the T-Rex biting the thing out of his throat. Um, Krista, oh, well, of course they escaped Scarface. Um, Krista fortunately knows the uh, remedy for the snake venom, and Kevin says, I'll do anything uh, to thank you for this, and she says, no more bird watching, which is to say, leave me alone. Um, and uh, then Kevin has a nice little monologue about not taking sight for granted, uh, which is perhaps, um, you know, aimed at teaching, at telling the, the children watching, some people can't see, don't take things for granted, don't think take something like sight, which you've always had, for granted. So a nice, uh, quaint message there. The next episode, Annie in Charge, I'm trying to just get a sense in my, from, like, think back and if I have any memory of it. Um, and I don't really. It's, it's one of the later episodes, like the later episodes in season two, after In Dinos We Trust, except for the very last one. I don't have clear memories of from childhood, but uh, this one features the return of Psy, the cyborg. And uh, yeah, so I'll, I'll just start describing it. Uh, Annie in charge. Um, let's see, so in the beginning, Kevin's playing basketball with, with what seems to be an actual real basketball. Um, and he's pretending to be Michael Jordan. He's doing the thing where He's announcing as he's playing that he, Michael Jordan, is doing the things, um, doing all the things that uh, Michael Jordan does. And he misses the basket, and then Princess is there. I don't know if Krista's there, but Princess, the Triceratops, is there, and she almost eats the ball. Uh, and meanwhile, Annie is inside uh, sculpting out of clay uh, Tom, and Tasha's sitting on Tom's uh, lap, and my first thought, I saw her sculpting, I thought, oh, that Rita's going to put that through her monster machine and turn it into a uh, living monster, and then she'll send it after the Power Rangers, and then she'll throw her 
magic wand down and make Tasha and Tom grow. And uh, this was around the time of Power Rangers, and it looked exactly like the monsters that, what was his name? The, uh, the um, Scottish Terrier alien who made monsters for Rita. I'm pretty sure I have, if not the action figure, then possibly uh, a, a little plastic uh, mold, molded one. Um, but anyway, that is what I thought, um, that it was a monster for Rita. And then what seems to happen is that Princess kind of rubs up against the treehouse and shakes it, but then that's not, and so they think, is it an earthquake or whatever? And then so they go down and they find out that it's termites. And it doesn't seem to matter that Princess was rubbing up against it and shaking it, so I don't know why, uh, or I don't know how that exposed that there were termites, but they find out there are termites in the tree supports uh, that are holding up the treehouse. So Tom and Kevin go get more. They leave Annie in charge, which she's the only human left. Uh, Krista is out fishing, according to Stink. Um, and uh, so she's in charge, I guess, of Stink and Tasha. Um, and, you know, it might just be something that a father will say to make the, the younger child feel like, feel more important. Um, is also a little bit irresponsible, but I guess at that point, uh, they're all, uh, jungle savvy enough, so it's okay for him to leave her. They go, again, in, in search of trees for support logs, and, uh, Annie turns into a kind of a drill sergeant, uh, ordering T Stink and Tasha around to do chores, uh, before they can eat and, and all that, and it's, uh, it's, it's kind of cute. Um, and she later apologizes for it, of course. Um, but in the meantime, on their search for um, the support logs, Tom and Kevin encounter this big, uh, futuristic-looking, boxy fortress. And that's nothing like anything else in the Land of the Lost. And, of course, naturally, they go towards it. And with the intent, I think, to go in, and we have seen Cy the Cyborg walk in, and it's just it's cool to see Cy. Uh, and as they approach, I guess the um, the there's a a trigger or something that they get sprayed with some kind of toxic gas. That uh, first it knocks them out; they fall down a hill, and they wake up the next day with no memory. Um, but that is just one element of. If they had gone farther with this show, if they'd done more episodes, what more interesting things like that from size, alien culture, technology? Because he's he's somewhat, I mean, he's a big, scary monster, but he's also somewhat sympathetic. He's trapped there, too. Um, so, interesting. Uh, that's why I, I, I like him. Uh, they are, uh, they have amnesia. They don't know who each other is. They don't know who they are themselves. Eventually, uh, and I don't know if this is something that Commonly happens with am amnesia people, uh, people who have amnesia. Um, but uh, Kevin decides that he's actually Michael Jordan because I guess most recently that's a name that was on his mind, and so it comes before his own. Uh, uh, but you know, so they have some, and then they also have uh, the uh, if they're humans and they have amnesia, they don't remember what's going on then they are confused that there are dinosaurs. So that's an interesting, uh, that's that's a, a thing that happens. They don't recognize princess. They are confused by the presence of dino dinosaurs. Um, and of course, Annie goes to search for them. And earlier, we see her kind of doing karaoke with the boom box. She's got a microphone she's doing karaoke with the boom, or maybe she's using it to uh, bark orders. I forget exactly which, but she then takes the boom box out and the microphone out to search for Kevin and Tom and uh, say their names very loudly. And there's a, a cute little bit where she uh, calls their names and then Stink, using the exact same inflection, calls their names. So like, uh, Kevin, and then Stink will go, Kevin, but in his kind of growly, human ape uh, Stink voice. And so that was cute. Um, uh, Tom and Kevin, uh, they encounter a sigh footprint. And uh, and then Krista appears, and uh, Kevin introduces himself as Michael Jordan. She says, "No, you're not. You're you're Kevin Porter." Oh, and, so, and one of these, I made a, a note about how I just enjoy that Stink enters the treehouse, um, rolling in through a window, 
and and rolling over whichever bed. I think it's Annie's bed that's next to the window. I think it's just a, it's a neat way because it, it suggests that this monkey guy comes out of the trees to the to the treehouse that he travels above the treehouse. Um, so that's 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 a fun detail. Um, so uh, Sai chases. Uh, Sai reappears. Uh, Annie gets there. Uh, she and Krista are trying to convince them or, or make them remember things. No recognition. Uh, Sai appears. Um, and uh, and they're, all, they're all there. And then uh, Krista, uh, being the uh, most powerful person with a memory at that moment, uh, takes the defensive position so that the rest can escape. And she uh, throws something. I forget what. She throws, I, I just wrote down, she throws something uh, at Sai, and then Sai, as a, as a little thing in his wrist that shoots the same gas that got Kevin and uh, Tom, and so she gets knocked out, and he kidnaps her, uh, and takes her back to the thing, to, to his fortress, and so then Annie comes up with an idea to lure him out, and then they get him to run to chase, I guess, Tom and, Ke or Tom and Kevin and Stink, uh, no, she and Tasha run, and they get Sai to chase them. Uh, Kevin and Tom go in and get Krista out of the fortress, and uh, everything turns out all right. Krista has no memory loss, so but perhaps that again goes back to why she can't remember the raft. She doesn't have much of a memory to lose, uh, or maybe she is stronger in some way. We know that she can resist Shang's crystal more uh, successfully than the others, and, uh, oh, and then, uh, Kevin and Tom get their memory back, and then the very, before the closing credits play, uh, Annie, Stink, Tasha, and Kevin do a little commercial for whatever the show, I forget what they named the show, but I wasn't quite sure what was going on, but they're sitting around the TV that they have, for some reason, the little TV in the treehouse, and they say, no, this, this show's coming up next, we should stay here, or something like that. And it's it was kind of like the um, like the the news bulletin about the endeavor, just a nifty thing that v that's the reason why things taped on VHSs off the TV directly are interesting, and why I wish I hadn't skipped so many commercials um, when I was taping Pokemon. So that's that for those episodes. Uh, the next couple of episodes are Make My Day and Cheers. Uh, and, uh, I will watch them and then I will talk about them to the computer and my arm feels fine. So I'm going to do the Jekyll and Hyde thing before I, uh, before I lose my arm. Um, as Krista would say, peace and love.